A clouded sunrise over Westminster. Nothing extraordinary here. Many of Brexit's changes will be slow, banal even. But in the minds of British people, the UK, now adrift from the EU, is alone again. For some, that's a cause for optimism. For others, profound regret. The country's still working out what Brexit means in practice, with new rules on travel, trade and immigration, to name a few. But beyond the dry details, it's also about something much deeper. For many Brits, especially those in their 20s and 30s, being British and a member of the European Union are part of one indivisible, seamless identity that now, as a result of Brexit, has been split in two. Of the 48% of people that voted to remain in the European Union, many now feel like they're being told to abandon half of who they are. Really sad to be not European anymore. Um, I think it was a really awful decision that we made as a country. The idea that we're this nation in the world that could do better outside of something the size of the European Union, I think is a bit stupid. It's hugely problematic um, for people um, who've grown up uh, in the 80s, 90s, noughties. Uh, a European identity was, was fundamental to how we saw the world. We got used to being able to uh, travel freely in the European Union, being able to work there, live there. And of course, people who are older were able to retire there. For others, though, European Union membership has felt in some way forced and disingenuous. Voting to leave the EU is a shock treatment for some parts of the country that felt left behind, a way of restoring the country's factory settings. I think it's a great opportunity for the UK now to stand alone and to really build some business across the world. But it's not as simple as hitting reset. In the past 50 years, the UK has become intertwined with Europe. London's often called France's sixth biggest city because of its sizeable French population. Unpicking the relationships required a form of diplomatic surgery in the shape of years of torturous Brexit negotiations. Un pays, le Royaume-Uni, quittera l'Union Européenne. The message from many of Europe's leaders is that Brexit is not something to celebrate. The last thing the EU wants is for the first member state to ever leave the EU to be followed by others. How future generations will judge this moment, we don't yet know. Is it the beginning of new opportunities or the end of many? A sunrise or a sunset? Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, London.